It's estimated there are 60.6 .6 million people in South Africa. That's according to Statistics South Africa's mid-year population estimates. The majority of the population is black, female and falls under the youth category. The overall population growth rate is now estimated to be 1.06% in the period 2021 to 2022. Approximately 51.1% of the local population is female. The black African population is in the majority, accounting for 81% of the total South African population. Kauteng still comprises the largest share of the South African population, followed by Guazulu Natal. Kauteng and the Western Cape are estimated to experience the largest inflow of migrants. There has been a reduction in international migration, which Stats SA says is indicative of the COVID-19 travel restrictions and the subsequent impact on migratory patterns since the beginning of the pandemic. Stats SA says life expectancy at birth for 2022 is estimated at 60 years for males and 65.6 years for females. Well, to get into the latest data, I'm joined by the Statistician General, Risenga Maluleke. Thank you very much, Ndate, for joining us. Let's start by you just giving us uh, an overview of some of the key data points that you looked at. Nombu, let me greet the viewers and indicate that uh, these media estimates do not include the results of Census 2022. As you know, we just finished end of May in the field. Uh, I used to be wearing green. Now I'm wearing orange. The orange T-shirt is for our field workers that are in the post enumeration survey to confirm the work of the census. Having said so, we release media estimates every year as of the 1st of July. Uh, it's only next year we will not release them because we'll be releasing census results. Uh, we have come out uh, and estimated the population of South Africa. That is everyone living within the borders of South Africa as of the 1st of July to be sitting at 60.6 .6 million. Uh, when we say so, we, you have already uh, unpacked a few of what we are seeing, but uh, Gauteng is having about 16.1 million, which accounts for, accounts for more than a quarter of the country's population. Uh, it's sitting at 26.6%. Uh, it is followed by uh, KwaZulu Natal at 19%, and uh, which accounts for 11.5 million people, followed by the Western Cape at uh, 7.2 uh, million people at about 11.5%. The three provinces account for uh, slightly above 57% of our population. The lowest uh, populated province is uh, uh, the Northern Cape at 1.3 million and sitting with a share of 2.2% of the national population. Mm. Just if you will, uh, juxtapose what your estimates tell us about the majority of the population being young people. And then on the other hand, the, the data that you release out of the quarterly labor force survey where we see that it's youth people who are really affected by unemployment. Well, uh, when we say young people in terms of the uh, population estimates, we are looking at people aged uh, 0 to 34 years. So I can say to be exact that uh, those aged 0 to 14 years are 17 million. Uh, those aged 15 years to 34 years are 20.6 million. And then now that gives us an estimate of about 38 million of people who are young. Whereas in the, uh, uh, what's that, in the quarterly labor force survey, uh, those aged 0 to 14 are children and they are not supposed to work according to our uh, basic uh, conditions of employment act. So we start uh, looking at employment at ages 15. So when we say young people in the quarterly labor force survey, we are looking at about um, uh, 15 to 24 years. When you look at population estimates, there are about 10.3 million of those aged 15 to 24 years. And indeed of those at 10.3 million, about 3.2 to 3.4 million 
are usually not in employment, education, or training. So they wake up every morning and they do nothing. Uh, they sit at home. Mm, a big problem indeed for our society. Just tell us about the COVID-19 aspect. Uh, that's a, a new data variable that you had to contend with and how that impacted on issues like migration. Certainly, we know that uh, as regards especially international migration, we know that there were a lot of restrictions of m people moving around. It's the same with domestic migration. There were a lot of restrictions of people moving around from the year 2020. So COVID-19 has indeed impacted on migration, but it hasn't impacted only on migration. It has impacted on all aspects of life, all facets of life, and indeed also on the ability of uh, the, the health system of our country to cater for other aspects and attentions on health issues. So one, we are seeing a, a, an impact on migratory uh, patterns, but still there are movements into our people, uh, into our country, sorry. Uh, the majority of those who come from outside choose Gauteng as their destination. Whereas, as in the country, we are seeing two provinces that are receiving more people than any other provinces. That is Gauteng. Gauteng is receiving a lot of people, uh, both externally and from outside and uh, internally in the country. And the majority of uh, people that flock into Gauteng are from Limpopo. Whereas in the Western Cape, the majority of people who flock into the Western Cape are from the Eastern Cape. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, SG, what is the significance of this data? You know, why do you have this data every year? Who's going to benefit from having this in their armory? Firstly, is members of the public always have to know in relation to the growth of the population, but also those who deal with the policy making. Uh, plan, planning and execution of policies and programs, as in government, always have to know where do they provide water, electricity, and the like. Just about last week, we released the non-financial census of municipalities uh, in relation to services, water, electricity, sewage services, and sanitation, as well as solid waste management. Mm. But also, uh, uh, Captains of industry need to know where the workforce and uh, the future workforce will be, as well as uh, 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 researchers, scholars and researchers, they need this information. So it is very critical that we enter into the space of evidence-based decision-making as a country. That is why we make these numbers uh, available. Imagine. Uh, we were managing a country, or all of us, as uh, uh, we were having a country where we do not know how many people are within our borders. It would be very difficult to provide water, electricity, and other services, roads and otherwise. Indeed. No, I appreciate the explanation. Uh, SG, thank you very much uh, for your time and insights there. That's uh, Risenga Maluleke. He's the Statistician General.